supplemental instruction series of videos for Chemistry 121. And today we'll be practicing with temperature conversions. Now, as you may already know, there are three different scales for measuring temperature with. There's Fahrenheit, which I'm sure everyone knows about. There's Celsius, you might see that aside the Fahrenheit scale on thermometers. And then there's Kelvins, a scale that's really only used in the sciences for the most part. Now, when, when you're doing your problems and such, you most likely come across all three, but you might need to convert them into a different one. So, we'll need to practice with conversion rates. Now, here I have all the formulas you'll need for converting temperatures. Say, you want to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. We're going to go with this one. And so in order to get Fahrenheit from Celsius, you just multiply the Celsius temperature by 9 fifths, and then add 32 to that. Then if you want to go the other way, from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you just subtract 32 from the Fahrenheit temperature, then multiply that by 5 ninths. And sometimes you'll need kelvins in order to do certain problems, like, you know, gas laws, but you'll be given Celsius. Well, that's not a problem because this happens to be one of the easier conversion rates. To get kelvins, you just need to add 273 to your Celsius temperature. All right, now let's try working a problem. Let's try, oh, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. We want to change that to kelvins. Now I know what you're thinking, but wait a minute, there's no conversion rate from Fahrenheit to kelvins. Well, no. But notice that to get kelvins, you add 273 to the Celsius temperature. And to get Celsius temperature, you need to use the formula that involves the Fahrenheit temperature. So that's what we're going to be doing. So our first step is, of course, to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. So, so using the formula, so a degree Celsius is equal to 9 times 82. By the way, I'm not worrying about sig figs for, these pro for this problem. However, you'll need to keep an eye on that when you're doing your own homework, just so you know. And then, of course, we want to convert the Celsius to kelvins. So, K is just equal to degrees C plus 273, which means it's just 27.8 plus 273. So that's... 300.8. Of course, if you need like three sig figs, it'd be 301. So that's basically how you work with convert with temperature conversions. All right, now go out there and practice with those. Thank you.